Guys, look at this. Saria's Valentine's Day coupons. <laughs> Y'all, I just dropped this stuff. Well, these are the flowers. They're almost dying, so you gotta hurry up and save them. All the way down. But we said we was gonna do these again because it was pretty fun. Hey, you guys! Thank you for answering today's call. And as you see from the title, it's a week vlog. It's the week of Valentine's Day. Y'all, I'm planning my anniversary trip, and y'all know how girls are. We like to get our maintenance done, buy outfits, book excursions in advance. So I have been using Rocket Money to make sure that I don't overdo it. Rocket Money is the app you need to track your finances, manage your money better, and save more. After downloading Rocket Money, it was so obvious where all my money was going. I had so many random subscriptions coming out of my accounts every single month, and I had no clue. Luckily, Rocket Money made it super easy for me to cancel all of those unwanted subscriptions. Another thing I love about Rocket Money is its ability to help you budget and set financial goals. I've been trying to spend a certain amount of money each month on different needs like food, lifestyle, maintenance, and when I tell you, it's been amazing. I no longer have to worry about going over budget because it clearly shows me what I'm spending, what it's on, and it's just chef's kiss to save more and spend less join the over 5 million people using rocket money today all you have to do is go to rocketmoney.com slash saria rain or just go to my description box and click the link today is tuesday tomorrow's valentine's day which is on wednesday and i did like a mini valentine's day type of prep type of video hope you guys watch that it should be my last video but right now i'm about to head out to my tax appointment for my business i did my hair in yesterday's vlog it's a little it's gonna make do for what it's here for it's just to look kind of cute on valentine's day dinner you know whatever we do i really don't know what we're doing honestly so if i'm coming in i'm looking crazy but i don't think it looks that bad it gives natural this is my fit i got this orange set i also got it in the last vlog from the beauty supply store and yeah this is my hair it do very much give natural especially this side this side though is a little bit raunchy because of the way i had it wrapped up at night so it's really not giving the effects that it's supposed to be given like the other side like it's not even as silky or anything like that so and i'm talking about the leave out because <laughs> the leave out is what's messing it up but i put some cornstarch in it don't judge me that's a another way to do dry shampoo but this is a 16 y'all can go watch that video if y'all really want to know details on it quickly that i did on myself uh we're gonna have to spice it up tonight because I'm gonna put it in some curlers tonight. So, um, after I leave my tax appointment, I do need to go out and find a dress. I don't have a dress that I want to wear, so I'm gonna go and find one. And then my hair is gonna be curled. Um, it's probably not gonna last that long, but it is what it is. Um, I have to leave my dog here, so I'm gonna turn the TV on. I'm about to take her out though. And what I was doing, what I um do need to do is change out my purse because I want to wear this brown purse today. So I have 15 minutes. The place is like five minutes away. So I'm gonna be like right on time. We're going away from this bag. I really do need more bags though, if we wanna be completely honest here. And I need to go to the bank and put this money back in the bank. Cause I don't want this in my wallet. I don't carry cash. I just don't really like to carry cash. Honestly y'all, I don't need this purse because all that's in it is my wallet. Like what are we doing? A gift I want is a mini purse. Like I'm about to change this. I have not unpacked from Tulum. And I need to book another trip because I love Tulum and Tulum loves me. So this is the bag I'm actually going to wear. We do not need all of this stuff in here. Literally, this is all I got in my lip gloss. Like, now I feel more compact. All right, Hazel, let's take you out. Take her out and then I'm going to head on into the car. So we can dip because I already know the time is ticking. Hey, guys. So I'm out of there. Out of the tax meeting. I didn't really talk to you guys. I, this does look really, really, really natural. My hair looks really natural. But, um, about to head on over to the mall for a dress. And I also want to do some window shopping. But I need to make sure that's all I got to do. I have my, um, video sent to me. I haven't uploaded in, like, eight days. But we're going to get that together. Yeah, but tax meeting was good. I know you guys are probably wondering because I have a business and stuff like that. It's really not that hard, truthfully. Business owners just people don't want to do their own taxes. So you pay people to do it for you. And um, yeah, so did that. We filed for a year that I didn't do what do it. 
and yeah i just went ahead and did everything i don't know i thought i did it last year but i guess i didn't do it last year so yeah now i have to go ahead and find another bookkeeper because i do not track my books don't got time for that no ma'am can't my brain can't even fathom so gotta get that going i had my old va do it i'm just gonna find another person who does it for a low price because they're pretty cheap in the philippines something like that so yeah so now we're about to go um uh, put my phone on the charger valentine's day is tomorrow so i need to get in the headspace of valentine's day so valentine's day i need a dress i already have some heels i have lots of heel options i can either do a white heel i don't know all right let's just head to linux i'm over here thinking like where i'm gonna go you got three options really but we, we we're just gonna go to Linux because that's where I wanna um, look at all the stuff. We're gonna go there first and then we're gonna go to inside the mall park and get like some stuff. But it's I'll get there at 454, so 24 minute job. I want okay, so yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna talk to y'all in a second. My brain is like running. Yeah, don't get mad at me. I already know y'all about to be like, wow, wow. I'm only human. I'm only human. I went into the tax place that had snacks. <laughs> I'm only human. I want these. I'm hungry for one and for two. I don't even remember what these taste like. I've not had Cheez-Its in a minute. So I'm about to taste them. I kind of think I know what they taste like. Like I taste it in my mouth because obviously I had Cheez-Its before. Mm, not the taste I had in my mouth. Mm -hmm. But she told me I shouldn't get my car new. The, the new car that I want. But the only reason I wanted to get it, get it new is because I wanted it black with white seasoning. And I can only do that if I bought a new and the car is new and I don't think nobody that did that car like that is already selling it because clearly they took their time to design it so I don't know but she gave me some homework I gotta do when I get home. That plane a little weird. One thing I like about Delta planes is you know it's Delta. If it's flying over you, it has Delta on the belly. Like, when you say advertisement, when it's spirit, honey, spirit, spirit big and yellow. And the amount of shit people talk about spirit, they can't be that bad, baby. They still in business. And you wanna know why they still in business? Because it's cheap. You get what you pay for. Whoever invented spirit was smart. They use the cheapest material on the plane so they can do low prices. Your seats don't move, no TV, nothing. And they knew people was gonna book you because that's their target audience. There was not everybody not there's a target audience. You get what I'm saying? Kutar, whatever that big one, they damn sure ain't targeting everybody. I got levels to everything. Cars, same thing. Everybody not the audience. Kias, Nissans, Toyotas. Their target audience is affordable thing. Tesla, they got affordable options. Billions, BMW, Audi, Lamborghini. Got they target audience. Okay, but I was listening to some music, so I'm gonna listen to some music because I don't really got nothing to say. Yeah. Bye. All right, y'all. I made it to sex. Um, about to go in here and get my man some cologne or something. I ain't get. I ain't get nothing. He don't be. He don't really get real gifts. Like he don't. Like he don't know what he wants. So how am I supposed to know? Like he's not. He doesn't use anything. He will use some new cologne though. So that's what I get. Yeah, I've never truly walked around here. <laughs> I made it to the cologne section. There's so many options. I really don't know where to start. Let's start with this Jo Milan. I can't smell. I need a stingy. Hi. I'm good. How are you? What is the best men set? Well, in our line, it's always going to be Mokrod is shared for everyone. But if there was one specific one for men here, Amherst on x ray can I smell? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. okay, that smells good. Yeah. What do you think about any of those so far? For him, I think one of these. Right. I agree. Oh, yeah. I'm going to keep looking, but I'm going to keep these. All right. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Here. It has the chip. This one. Like, these are similar. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this one is just a reinvention of that one with a little bit more tropical fruits, like the melon. This the one's pear, more tropical? Uh -uh, the yellow the one, the gold. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I like those. Okay, so no cologne. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which one would you say? This one? Okay, okay I'm gonna do this. How did you want to look around more or is this it? Um, dang, I don't smell it. Um, I want to look around some more. What are brands have you tried this far? Only you guys and that one. I don't know nothing about scents, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to keep this. All right. And then is there a return policy? 30 days. Okay. 
Oh, I put the wrong card. The wrong yeah. Okay. My shit is the card. Hi, girl. This is my damn credit card. <laughs> Alright, that was three hundred ninety-seven dollars. If you don't like it, you better tell me, cause I'll be able to return it. So it smells good though. It's like an islandy scent. I feel like he needs like an islandy scent. I've never spent four hundred on this scent before, so if he don't like it, he can tell me, and I won't be there. But I am gonna go shop around still and see if I see anything else, and then I'll be able to return it if I don't want it. So that's good. I like this one though. I think I like this other one better. I'm gonna buy both. I think I really do like this one. This one's more like grandpa. We're gonna see. I need to smell it again. I'm gonna spray it actually this time. Uh, I'm just trying to get into the freaking mall like the parking right now everybody's shopping last minute for Valentine's Day And that's why you shouldn't do last minute shit. Yo, like the people is gonna be out Cause everyone's last minute. I'm in a garage now. I'm about to go back to the damn parking spot I bought some cologne, but I don't even think I really like the cologne. I got presented too many options I don't know my his sense he be having has like this manly type of smell This one is a completely different vibe than he that I've ever like smelled on him she gave me a little sample like the mall is so bad i don't even know how to get in and get a good parking spot and then i'm trying to smell this because if i don't like it i'm gonna have to return it i like it i personally like it i just don't know if he's gonna like it it has like a really nice different type of smell like he don't have anything like this and i feel like he need to have variety but then i had got um i like it it's like cool it's a different type of scent i don't know and it's four hundred dollars. Can we please be so farel? He don't even wear like cologne like that. He supposed to be wearing it every day, but like this is a high end scent, and uh, I don't know if he gonna wanna smell a scent like this or wear a scent like this. This is different. This is that nigga. I don't know. This is like dressed up. The other shit like fast, fast, fast. He's a fast, fast, fast nigga, so you can't get. I already bought it though. It's like I already bought it, you know. You know what I might do? Oh, I don't have time. I was gonna say I would rebuy what he already has again because it's like gone. He needs some more and he clearly liked it because he used it all. So I'm about to type his name in on YouTube and type cologne and see. Ain't none of this shit giving cologne, but what it is giving, shit I don't wanna see. I don't see no damn cologne. See nothing on him. Why would I, why would it pop up? Why would it pop up? I need to get a dress. And I'm gonna look around. Cause what if I don't want to give him cologne? That was really like a don't got nothing else to give. He just scared the shit out of me with them lights. Flashing them lights at me. What I do? He here for me? Alright, let's go. Alright, y'all. I just bought another cologne. I think he liked this one better. The other this is 140. Why the hell that other one? 397. That other one is for big dog scent lovers. And he's not that. So I think I might get him a candle. And I'm gonna return the other cologne that I got. Or I'm just no, he's not gonna be able to smell it. Cause what if he likes it? I'm not no. Now I'm smelling like uh let me go get a thing. I wanna get him a candle though. And this one smells really good. It has like a wood. That's not good anymore. I lost the scent. I really like this touch. Tuxedo, masculine scents. Had a house smell it real good. Can I like this? I think I'm gonna get him this. I don't know how much are these. A designer candle though. Come on. Are we being for real? Only because I don't know what else to get him. This smells really good. I like this. Excuse me. Hi, I'm good. How are you? Um, can I? How much is this? My anniversary is less than a, a month away from Valentine's Day. Okay. Do you have any of these? Yeah, I do have a uh, jumpsuit. That's the only one? Yeah, I have a That's the I-A-24. Do you have a thing, a spray thing? I can do. Do you have anything similar to this? Oh, that candle would have been perfect. He likes candles. I'm upset about that. I'm gonna order it though. I'm gonna still order it and I'll just give it to him later another time. It smelled really good, so we're gonna get that. And then we got this cologne, the other cologne. No, I mean, we're gonna return. And now I just need to go find me like a dress or something. I'm really not feeling being in here anymore. I'm ready to go home, if we're being completely honest. I don't even know how to get out of here. But let me look on my phone and see if I can find it. I'm so fucking irritated. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home, I'm ready to go home, I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home. Like, I, this mall, no. Nope. Mm, it's too big. I don't want to walk around in here looking for one store. Nope. The mall needs to invest in scooters. Because, uh, uh I'm not doing it. So, I didn't get a dress, but I got this pink outfit at home. I'm probably just going to throw that shit on. I wore it in Miami, and I don't care I wear it again. So, yeah. That's what I'm wearing tomorrow. I already hate my hair anyways. I already got to wear my glasses. Like, this is just not, no. So, let's go. It's getting colder, 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 colder outside. As far as food, um, I don't know what I'm going to eat. There's a piece of pizza at my house that my boyfriend had. 
bad. Yeah, I got pizza yesterday. I didn't eat nothing yesterday, but he left one piece of pizza there because I ate my food. So, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'll return that another day. Um. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh! 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 Shit! Oh! Shit! Y'all just dropped this stuff. My best friend. Oh, cause I was about to show y'all this shit, bro. Yeah. <sighs> no. Well, that's not what that is. well, I went and got some tacos. Built it everywhere. I spilled the sauce everywhere. It was actually pretty good this time. It was good last time, but it was just really good this time. I was watching TV. You know, this needs to be thrown out anyway, this rug, so. I'll take it as a sign, but I'm eating. I'm gonna clean that up later. Hey guys, so I'm headed to get my contacts. Um, it is 9.25. I was supposed to leave a long time ago, but we're leaving now. I have 18 minutes until I get there, um, and hopefully they're already ready, but I am gonna call them before I get there just to let them know that they need to prepare my stuff. So, I'm about to call them. Hi, I am on the way to pick up my contacts. But yeah, um, that's where we headed. Well, I'm headed. And then I'm going to go back to his house. And then we're going to leave out and go to the city. So, I got my makeup on. My outfit, hated it. So, I put on blue jeans with it. It looks a lot better. Now, I don't like my shoes. But it is what it is. Um, I'm wearing flip-flops, white flip-flops. No heels. I just don't feel like it. The heels are too big. The ones that I will be wearing. I haven't worn them in so long. They're way too big. So, yeah. I need some new white heels. I got to put that on my list because that was just not doing it just now. So, yeah. That's the update. I have boots. I have white boots, too. Like, stiletto close toe. And, I don't know. I just don't like them like that. I don't know. But when I get back, I'm probably going to try it again. Just see if I was tripping with the boots. Or do I want my toes out? The toes out definitely get more girly. Um, the boots probably get more grown. Like, modest. All the way. Like, I, everything's covered on me. I have this long sleeve shirt. Long pants. Boots. You know, that's what that's giving. So, I think I am going to stick with the toes out. Just to add a little spice. A little razzle dazzle. And then I really hope my hair comes out right. I really, really hope my hair is cute. Really. Please. I beg. I don't know what I'm going to do if it ain't. I ain't going to do shit. I can't do nothing. So, yeah. On the way to get that stuff. And we just going to see how my hair comes out. That's the last thing I have to do. Probably going to do it when I get in the neighborhood. So, when I get out of the car, it's already down. So, I don't have to go in there and take all these flexi rods out real fast. Because we're on a time crunch. By the time I get there, it's going to be time to go. Because I get to the place at 942. It's going to take 20 some minutes to get back. So, I'm going to be getting back right at 10. I don't want no problems, so that's the vibes right now. Guys, look at this. Saria's Valentine's Day coupons. <laughs> and then I got the flower. <laughs> so cute. But I picked breakfast, so we're about to go to brunch. So, so cute. This is French toast with some chicken and waffles. This eggs are good too. Y'all, this food. Yeah, this is a chicken and waffles with eggs. And yeah, like yeah, some French toast. He's, he went away because he's. I'm going to pull my next card. Ooh, it's dark. I'm going to pull my next card. So. Okay, guys, we are in the massage. I picked the massage card. It was either massage or gym. Who wouldn't pick massage? So. I would Yeah, you would. Okay guys, and then I pulled, what am I talking about? I pulled my last card. I mean, not my last card. I pulled another card and it was two different restaurants. And this is the one I chose. I think it was called Get Cut, but that's not the name of it. Don't Get Cut. It's called Cuts Steakhouse. So we in here. It's really cute. Cute idea. We're not drinking, so pretty sad. But, you know, we're still going to make a way. I need to get my braces. Here's my food. I already started. And this is his. He got a burger. But it's called a steak burger. But it's definitely just a burger. Mm, is it good? Is it good? And then this back is pretty good. So. Alright. So I just put this shirt on. It's messy. So don't worry about it. Boy. No. Okay. So these are the flowers. They're almost dying. So you gotta hurry up and save them. Cutting these off. I only have one vase. And it looks like this, this little base right here. So I'm trying to fit 12. These are 50 roses. Oh my gosh, this is 50 roses. I've never got 50 roses in my life. How big am I supposed to make it? I think I'm gonna make it like this big. I think that's good. I really have no clue. But I'm gonna just go color by color. I don't know, cause I'm gonna just put them all in there. 
it's gonna be a whole bunch of different type of roses and i do want to get into more like bouquets and stuff like how people really make them but i don't really know how so this is fun this is an experience but anyways we went camping yesterday and it was cool i didn't get to prepare because i didn't know nothing about it so i was literally cold all night that was the worst sleep of my life so when we got back here this morning i went to sleep for like five hours five or six hours didn't sleep wasn't good so I'm hungry. I'm about to eat them wings. But we just ended up cleaning up just now because it was really, 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 really messy in this house. Now I'm doing this and I'm going to eat. Eat me some wings. Okay, I'm going to put the water in first. I don't know what cold water do, but I heard that's how you're supposed to do it. So we put my food in here. We really got to stuff all of these in here. I'm nervous. I don't know if that'll go fit. I'm gonna see. I need some orange. That's so pretty. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna show y'all at the end. Okay, I'm done. These are so cute. So they're a little dead, but they're gonna come back to life once they get a hold of that water. So it's gonna look good in a few hours. They're gonna sprout up and I'm super excited. They're so cute. Hey guys, it's a lot of days later. I already filmed this clip, but my camera just deleted it. But it is currently 8.33 and I am getting some food from this place I drive by sometimes. And I never knew what it was, but I finally called an order into it. It has like, it says food pickup, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, food pickup, DoorDash, same thing. And I'm trying to go in there, and I tried to go in there, but I was talking to a lady. And she said she was going to call me back, but I don't know if I'm at the right place. You got to be, though, because that's what I typed in. Yeah, they got food coming out the lockers. Like, I don't know what this is. It's like, like you know, you can order food from restaurants and shit. Like it's a Grubhub on a website, and you order it, and you got to go pick it up. I think this is, like, what that is. But, like, do they have restaurants in the back? I don't know. I'm about to call her again because I've never came here before. I want to make sure I'm at the right point. Hello. Hi. Um, I wanted to hey. confirm I was at the right place. It's Buckhead Eats, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm coming. I'm, I wanted to finish everything before I just walked up there so we, I could help you complete everything and just get your food. Okay. Okay, babe. You can come in and um, see that I got, I'm going to have to open the front a little bit because you had called after 8. Mm -hmm. So it closed us at 8. So I'm going to have to make us open on the front. But I okay. got you. I'm doing it right now. I'll see you in this one thing. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Okay. They closed at 8 on the episode 8 30. But yeah, I guess like they just in the back cooking and this is where you can like, they probably pay rent. I don't know, but this is some fire business plans these people was coming out with because it's crazy out here man but this week um i gotta do a lot this week i gotta do my hair i gotta film my launch for my um this new course that i'm about to start selling i really like it it's like about branding and marketing like branding yourself as a business and being able to sell the product and yeah stuff like that that's about it but yeah i'm eating this food we're gonna see and then i ordered instacart while i was gone so the instacart person is asking me a few questions and stuff they don't have the water that i like they checked out so he's about to come bring my order to my house i'm not zero though but i will be i don't see the lady out here yet either so that's what we got going on this week and i need to get some food i need to go grocery shopping and stuff like that but i'm really low energy right now so i ain't even about to sit up here and make y'all bored that long so i'll see you guys tomorrow say bye hello everyone how are you guys doing it's the next day and your girl spent all day doing things i just finished making my tulum itinerary now then my itineraries babe when you have to do more research for a trip that takes a lot of time out of you but every time i travel somewhere it is gonna come with it with the um itinerary not even an itinerary a travel guide it's gonna be the travel guide on what i did getting to that location i'm trying to see which ones of my batteries is charged because this one's about to die and then i'm gonna put this one in my camera because it's about to die anyway so it is already three o'clock i was supposed to be done with my itinerary by 12. i didn't really start working or anything until 11 12. So I'm already three hours into work. I'm behind. I was supposed to start work at 10. So either way it goes, I would have been behind. But yeah, I'm about to head out and go pick up my bears. Me and my friends' bears that we made like in my last week's vlog. Y'all saw it when we was painting the bears. We never went back to get them. So I'm going to go ahead and get them today because nobody's going to get them. And hopefully they still have them. I'll be pissed if they threw them away. Like my money back what are you talking about you my money back and i was gonna go to the doctor well the lab to get some blood work to test my iron for my doctor but i don't think they're open if they are i'm gonna i'm gonna go there first i need to clean up tonight i'm going to wash my dishes i haven't washed my dishes in two days that's not like the new me because i'm an organized queen okay so 30 minutes away i mean 30 minutes 3 30 damn 
a.m. I think the doctor's close is at either 4 or 4 30 and I really need to get that out the way even though I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow I'm gonna message her now and see if she wants to reschedule because she said she was gonna give me my plan once I got my labs results, but I never went. So I'm about to message her real quick. We use like this app. She's literally the only doctor I have on there. Okay, I said, hey, I wanted to check in really quickly. I have an appointment tomorrow, but I never went to the lab for my iron results. I'm going today. Would you like to reschedule or still come tomorrow even though my lab results won't be ready? Thank you. Send. Hopefully she's still in the office. I don't know what time she gets off. Probably around now or probably by five, but I need to go ahead and look at where she told me to go because that's on here too. Damn, I gotta go to Marriott. Monday. They only open on Monday, 9 a.m., 1 30. Then it says F, 8 a.m., 12 p.m., 1 p.m., 4 30. I have no idea what that means. I have no idea what that means. It says M, 9 a.m. to 1 30. Then it has an F. What the hell? I'm gonna call. Let me call them and see if they're open or what. And I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Story of my life, but I really want to sit down because my brain has been running all day. I've been crying and more shit. I've Thank been... you for calling Quest. No. How about they close? When I was reading MF, I wasn't wrong. They're only open on Mondays and Fridays. I'm about to uh, make a health deposit because I have been eating. I haven't eaten, okay, I haven't eaten pretty bad, but I haven't eaten terrible like I used to. So like, I'm not OD bloated and all of that, but I have not been feeding myself the types of foods that I need to be fed. As you can see, there's nothing in this fridge of mine ever. Like ever, it's never anything in here. So I need to feed myself something. I'm about to eat an apple. It's my last apple, so I might as well eat it. I'm gonna eat it with some peanut butter, and then I'm gonna go out and eat something. But then again, I might not, cause I'm cooking chicken tonight right here. It's unthawed. I took it out last night, and as far as my vegetable, I'm I be forgetting how to shrimp too. Like. All the days I'd be like, I'm not gonna cook nothing's unthawed, baby. Shrimp unthawed in two seconds. So hopefully next time I don't have any out, I'll be able to remember that I have shrimp. So I'll just cook the shrimp. But I'm done with rice. I ate rice two times yesterday. No, three times yesterday. Two times the day before that. We're done with rice. So I'm going to do sweet potato mash. I've never made chicken and sweet potato mash. I've only made salmon and sweet potato mash. But I have a one more bag of two pieces of chicken left. So it is about time for me to go to the farmer's market to re-up on some food. Um, some meats and stuff. And yesterday I should have ordered some eggs. I got one egg left. So I'm probably going to go to the grocery store really, really, really soon. Because... We don't have, and I don't have any more vegetables, so I need more asparagus. I do have some celery, though, that I need to eat. I ate celery one time, and it was actually really good. I ate it with some buffalo sauce. I need some more buffalo sauce, and y'all can see there's nothing in here. But I need some buffalo sauce. This is the ranch that I use, disgustingly clumped up. It's dairy-free, I think. Yeah, no dairy, soy, canola, sugar-free. It's a pretty good brand, but... Yeah, there's nothing in there. And I have barbecue sauce from that same brand. It's called Primal Kitchen. It's healthy. Then I have this Italian dressing that I never use because the ingredient says high fructose. I might throw that away. But, but then again, I don't know if anyone wants to come here and eat a salad, you know? That's my problem. I always think about other people when no one comes to see me, bro. I'm talking about, like, nobody. But I have a salad in here that I really need to cut up before it starts to go bad, which is just, this is just some lettuce. You don't know why that's pink, but I don't eat that part. And then I have some spinach that is clearly shriveling up. Shriveling on up. So I plan to cut this up tonight. This is a snack. I need to start eating on greens, okay? I'm about to be an animal. I need to be an animal. So yeah, I'm about to cut up this. Probably like a protein shake. So it's going to fill me up for the rest of, of the time that I'm out. I was going to get food outside, but the thing with eating food out is you don't know what they made their food with. Like, yes, it could be salmon, but what type of salmon? Is it farm-raised salmon? That's not good. What type of chicken breast is it? Is it full of antibiotics? Just because that's what it said don't mean it's necessarily healthy. You only know what's healthy what you buy from a farm. Like, if you're going to the farm and seeing the chickens, for one, we're guessing with this chicken from the farmer's market. For two, they could cook it in soybean oil. They can cook it in canola oil. All that stuff is not good for you. All fried food is cooked in that type of oil <sighs> so i cook with extra virgin olive oil i cook wild caught salmon so like i know when i'm cooking my meals i'm getting good quality food but when other people are making my food you don't really know like i thought about that yesterday when i ate my salmon yesterday i'm like this salmon is small it was really this salmon is tiny and it's a business so they like profit especially at restaurant yeah i'm just talking okay but all this stuff is really true. Um, in about 10 years, I love you guys, but a lot of you guys that's watching me right now, not 10 years, I'm sorry, 40, 50 years, 
that's when the cancer starts to come out and activate and show up whether you're stage two three or four usually stage ones you don't really know unless you're getting actively checked and it's crazy i need to go get these checked really soon i'm already 21 i got my first pap i don't know if it, the results came back yet but if it was bad they would have called me and um yeah get my monogamy i don't know what it's called but my breast checked for cancer gene because my mom had breast cancer grandma passed away from breast cancer my other grandma had breast cancer my auntie does not have the gene and i don't know about my cousins because we have a lot of girls so i'm gonna see because my mom had the gene obviously and she had it and they caught it early so now my mom got and i'm totally okay like either way it goes like if i can keep my breasts cool if i don't if i can't then baby double d's on that oh double d's on that <laughs> I'm just kidding, am I? But no, for real. For real though. I'm definitely gonna, if I see it when I make my appointment, cause it's free. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, I have one more. So, okay. I clearly haven't talked to y'all in days. Like, I am running like water. Hold on, let me show y'all something. So, the industry of healthy is expensive. If y'all didn't know, you now you know. It's really expensive. This shit right here was too much. I'm pretty sure it was like $15 for one freaking thing but to save money in the long run i don't want to have hella hospital bills when i'm older i'm trying to take care of my body now and heal my body now so later on i'll be cool i'm gonna be old being able to do do the thing <sighs> speaking of all that i need to drink some of this tea this tea helps me out with my hormones i'm almost out so i gotta get some more do i have some more that I finally decided on that I was going to drink. There's a really healthy one that's online. You have to order it, but I'm not doing that. So this is usually at Publix, um, pretty any, pretty much any grocery store. And how you know it's healthy is it says three ingredients, which that's not the only reason why it's healthy. It could be three terrible ingredients, but it says organic. Anything organic, they really haven't touched. They didn't do too much to it, and it's unsweetened, so there's no sugar. Sugar's bad. Sugar's fake. Sugar is bad, okay? Best sugars like coconut sugar. Little, like, natural sugars and stuff. Anywho, so it says organic almond milk, unsweetened, only three ingredients, shake well, dairy-free, USDA organic, right? This was what I used to buy all the time. I always buy two milks. I ordered Instacart yesterday. I got one of these, and I also got one of these. Now, before I talk about this one, I went to the grocery store the other day to get milk, and I did not see this milk. I saw this milk, and this looked very different to me. I'm like, what is it? What is it? What is it about this milk that's not what I buy? Okay, let's break it down. So we look at the top. It just says unsweetened. This says organic. The color is different, but they tried to make it seem like it's, it's a spinoff of this because it says, what does that say? No creamy taste. Who the fuck asked for creamy? We know almond milk isn't creamy. Anyway, okay. So then we have unsweet. Everything else is pretty much the same. Zero sugar, dairy free, but there is no USDA organic approved because it's not organic. So they bought, they got me two of these. They messed up and didn't, I guess they only had one of these because when I went, they did not have this. All they had was these. They're trying to sell these. All right, and it's crazy. So, okay, let's read the ingredients. You also need to learn how to read ingredients. I'm gonna read the bad one first. So the first ingredient is almond milk, which is just water and almonds. Then the next one is calcium carbon carbonate. So when you're reading a label, in order is the amount that they use. So the most of this whole thing is almond milk. Then the second most is it's calcium carbonate. You don't know if they're like neck and neck. Like let's say it makes up 100%. So it's 40% almond milk and then 35% calcium carbonate. And then the rest is going down. It's like those are two big numbers. If you get what I'm saying. Like they just put a lot of it. And then it says sunflower, lecithin, anything that says sunflower and it ain't a damn sunflower seed. This is not good for y'all. Then it says sea salt, natural flavor. What the fuck is that? Natural flavor? If it was a natural flavor, it would say what flavor it is. It would say cocoa flavor. It would say almond flavor. N what does natural flavor mean? That could be anything. So look out for that. Next we got gargum. No idea what that is. Gelan gum. No idea what that is. Vitamin A palmonate. Vitamin D2, potassium citrate. That's the least that they have. The least is good stuff. All right, this is the organic one. It says water, organic almonds, and sea salt. Did y'all did y'all hear? Water, organic almonds, and sea salt. Sea salt, not table salt. Sea salt. Get this. Okay. So, anyways, I was there and I couldn't find that milk. 
So I'm over there looking on the shelf like, what milk can I use? I came across this, finally, the only one I could find. It says almond milk, organic, unsweetened, three simple ingredients, USDA approved. Only thing is so small. And it says gum free, no fillers, oil free, organic, simply made, nothing to hide. They're being transparent. And the ingredient states, filtered water, organic almonds, and Himalayan pink salt. This is what I'm about to use today. These two are not open. I'm not gonna drink this one, but I am gonna drink this one, obviously. And I'm really just focused on taking out, I've already pretty much taken out a lot of bad things. I ate dairy like twice, like yesterday or last week. <laughs> Should do that, but I did. And uh, as far as, I just need to start incorporating more. I don't take supplements every day anymore. I need to get back into my supplement game because game because my body does not uh, like promote enough of these good things. So yeah, taking out the bad is good, but you need to start feeding your body with good as well. So that's the little TED talk I wanted to do while I make my smoothie stuff. And I also need to take my what is this out? My quick weed out my head really soon as well. I plan on doing it today because I have some content to shoot. I'm gonna shoot the content. Shit, I might shoot it tomorrow because I need to get it out. So Wednesday might be my, my content day. Like I need to like get up, get ready, put my wig on. So yeah, I'm gonna take my wig out tonight so I can get that going. And then I look good again so I'll be able to link up with people again. I have made, made two friends, two ones that I actually really, really, really enjoy in Atlanta. There's this one girl I need to link up with. She's a um trader, a day trader. And... I don't know, I like her life, and I like her. Well, I like her life on social media, obviously, because I don't know what her life looks like. But, yeah, I really want to hang out with her and see how that vibe is. Everybody's not their vibe, you know. I've met up with a few people so far of me living here, and the most recent two was like, the vibe was there. There's just another one, the vibe was there too, but she kind of didn't laugh at the same jokes that I laughed at. So I, I knew that that was like, eee! she's going to think I'm crazy. <laughs> Cause I'm experiencing or, or realizing that some people genuinely aren't goofy. Comment down below if you're goofy and you're not goofy. Be honest, cause some not goofy people try to act like they're goofy. You're not goofy. You know you're not goofy. You know you're not. You know you're not. You don't have to lie. You don't act like this. You act like I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know if I'm kidding. Anyway, yeah, she just wasn't really like goofy like that. And the other one wasn't goofy either. I don't want to say the first one's not goofy, but she didn't laugh at what I laughed at because she is pretty, pretty, pretty goofy. So that's why I had a connection with her. That was the only thing. Like certain things I said she didn't laugh or what I laughed at because I wasn't even talking. What I laughed at, she didn't laugh at. And I don't know if she wasn't listening or what because sometimes when you on a friend day, you be so like conscious. You don't even be like really. That's what the people don't talk about. That should be a little hard sometimes. Um, But the other one, it was just pure like. No. All right. And I love this set. I got it for Pretty Little Thing. Because I know I like to save a point. And I hope they added more colors. Because when I got it, it only had black and this. And I would love, like, a pastel, like, purple or something. But y'all seen, like, in my last vlog, I really... Oh, I don't know if that's uploaded yet. Because the brand never approved it. Y'all might be getting a vlog, like, OD late. I don't know. They have yet to approve it. And if they don't, I'm just going to take the sponsor part out. <laughs> Simple as that. And then I'm going to put it in like one of my week vlogs as like a little flashback. Like, hey guys, so there was a piece of content that never got approved, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it here. And then I'm going to delete like the sponsor clips out because baby, you don't need no sponsorship from me. Because that was a good content. That was my Valentine's Day. Like me really, that was really me getting ready for Valentine's Day. And I should be getting braids when I get back from my trip that I'm going on. So we're going to get our braids done, not in this vlog, but obviously soon. And this is a really healthy protein powder. This one has seven ingredients. A lot of them only have three, five. But I like peanut butter chocolate. This is my favorite one. I've tried chocolate. No, I like the peanut butter chocolate. I know I don't want no strawberry and I like that because I don't like fruity stuff. I really like chocolate rich stuff. Certified organic, USDA organic approved again, non-GMO. And the ingredients are organic pea protein concentrate, organic alkalized cocoa, which this is organic cocoa powder too right here. I'll just add this in for more chocolate. Organic peanut flour, organic organic vanilla powder, organic pumpkin seed concentrate, organic monk fruit extract. Now that's the only thing that's a little, the monk fruit. Organic chia seed protein concentrate contains peanuts. So the monk fruit is like really small amount cause it's at the end. Well I don't know if it's small, but it's not, it's not the most. So I do drink this and it does have lead in there or whatever. It'd be like magnetic or whatever that is. Don't drink too much of them. I drink them like almost every day, but uh, I don't know if it's them. I really don't. I really need to clean up. I'm gonna get back, so. Let me make my apple. This apple had like one more day left 
Like, it's literally bad. And I don't have any more things. Any more knives and stuff like that. But let's just go ahead and get this. I'm just not going to make it too. This is going to be good with my smoothie. I really could eat it with my smoothie. That's weird. But I could if I wanted to. Boom. And then my peanut butter. I get from the local store as well. It's healthy. It has oil at the top. Um, it's peanut butter, obviously. Creamy two ingredients plus salt. <laughs> the ingredients is organic peanuts and salt. So, I don't know how they made it. I guess they just crunched up the peanuts or whatever. But yeah, I need to see what time the place closed on. I'm really just sitting here like it's not like late and it's already far. I know it's pretty far. So I might have some tunes going in the car, a time, have a little vibe going. You know, nothing too crazy. Ooh, look at this. So I'm mixing it up because all of it literally just rises, like all the oil. Whoa, look at that. Y'all probably like, ooh, the people who don't like peanut butter. But if you like peanut butter, this probably is different because it don't look like your average peanut butter. Okay, so what I like to do is put it in like something like this. I'm gonna just put a, some of it on the side. Let's get some more. Boom. Boom. Mix that up, mix that up. Oh, I'm like, what the heck is that? People buying that itinerary. And boom, now we have some peanut butter to dip. And this is all just gonna rise back up again. This peanut butter is not that good, y'all, by the way, because it's literally peanut and salt. It's not no sugar, it don't have a honey roast taste, none of that. But I'm used to it, okay. How many people are trying to quit those? I'm gonna wear a hat. All right, y'all, I made it. I'm about to go in here. I'm gonna leave my boogie bag, these boogie boogie in the car for a second. That drive is crazy. Literally two people have parked next to me and they both had to like repark. Cause I'm so damn close. But I'm sorry. I'm, I'm leaving. So, like, look at this. Can y'all see? <laughs> all right. All right. I gotta show them the picture. Pictures of all of our bears. Picking up six bears. How the hell am I supposed to carry six bears? Go back to see. Hi. Um, pick up. I got six bears. Oh, look at this. Can I gloss it or is it too late? This is the bus. Oh, okay. Thanks. Y'all, it's so cute. This shit is not glossed. That's not gloss. That shit look matte. But okay, but that's gloss for sure. And then this one is okay. She's not glossing it all around. This one's glossed real good. I'm pretty sure because it looks cute. And then here it goes. My friends. I don't like how the purple literally got washed all the way down. But we said we was going to do these again because it was pretty fun. So, and then here goes her green one. This green one is super cute. And this one's cute. This one's okay, but it was way prettier when she was doing it. <laughs> and she kept her keychain matte. But let me load this stuff in here. Y'all, why in the world do my GPS say 42 minutes for 15 miles? That should be no more than 25 minutes. Really 20, but I'm going to give you a little five. There's an additional 20 minutes on top. No, I don't want to go this way. I'm not going this way. Wasn't finna sit in that, but it still is construction. It's only one lane open, but life of living in atlanta and since i'm in the car take this damn hat off okay i know i look crazy i'm taking this out tonight um i'm literally going to do that when i get home but i'm gonna drive home with no music no sound just to reset my brain for 42 minutes once i'm done talking to you guys probably like 35 minutes or so because i really need to relax my brain a little bit so when i get home i have more things to do i have yet to complete a day as followed well a day as planned because i have been trying to follow it but sometimes i was coming up so i'm going to try to finish most of the things on my to-do list make sure i plan my trip and also i need to plan my trip like get everything together get my outfits together that's going to be a, a whole thing in itself if you plan a trip baby you know and then the next thing that i gotta do that was on my list was learn more about email marketing i've been procrastinating on that real bad because i know that's, that's a task and i need a clear mind for that like to a point where i can take notes and stuff um i need a plan for my 50k shoot because i made 50k in um less than two months and i think that that's a really big accomplishment and it was all digital dollars bro i had to, i didn't have to ship anything anything like that but my planners i'm not restocking them so i do need to come up with a time where i'm gonna put those on sale like a really low sale so that i can get those out my dreams of, have, of having a warehouse cut short until I really come out with like a brand brand and I want to do that one day I just don't know when I'm not too big into clothes I did want to sell clothes I want a brand I ain't gonna tell y'all because y'all probably will steal my business idea but I might still come out with that because it resonates with me and I know a lot of people feel the same freaking way but that's gonna come a little bit later oh he looks scary bitch I'm about to get him some money but he hungry I don't have no food wait did he just make a did he just make a stink face at me did he just make a 
You know what? I'm gonna still give your ass some money. If you come back, you can get a burger for this. Oh, he missed me. He made a snake face at me. He just made a snake face at me. What did I do? And why is the traffic so bad? Let me put this back up. Because I knew I had some cash in my wallet that I haven't put back in my bank. And I was gonna help him. But he showed made a snake face at me. Do you know? Did y'all see? He was like, it's giving. That's what it's giving. It's giving. If y'all get it, it's giving. Biting a freaking hand that was about to feed you. Anyway, traffic. Is there another route? It's like 37 minutes. Like, time is going up. We're probably just gonna have to get time added on. I'm gonna have to sit in that traffic. So, yeah, y'all. I'll see you guys when I get to the house. I wanna show you guys how I'm gonna get my outfits because I did have a designer, but I'm just gonna do it myself because I didn't really like the fits that she was putting together. So, yeah. I did pay a designer before. She did really good. She just took kind of a long time. She took almost two weeks to get me 10 outfits, which that's a lot of outfits, but you could definitely do that in a day or two days, really, if you really sit there dedicated. But I got some things from Fashion Nova. I gotta see what I'm supposed to be doing with that, like, color communication. But, um, speaking of that, I'm about to check my emails and see if my, um, has emailed me because they haven't really been too responsive this week or yet they're usually really quick it's the first time it's taken like over three days to reply so, we'll see um head home 36 minutes i'm going to relax my mind and drive hello y'all so i want to put my keychain on with y'all let me show y'all the process so i don't know how to fuck oh she did it through i'm like i don't know how she put that through there she cut it okay Smells like nail polish. Dude, are they putting clear nail polish coat on here? But I saw this one hanging and I didn't even know it was mine. I'm like, that's so cute. I love the colors. Super cute. But this is my keychain right here. Okay. And I'm gonna put, hmm, I don't know where I wanna put it. Probably on here. Let me see. What is given? It's given you can't see it. We need a better spot where it's like broadcasted. Maybe with my actual key. Yeah, that's better. In the cut with my twin, we be vibing. So this is my keychain. Got the little bear on it. I think that this is cute. That's cute. It's giving the S can go. I don't even want the S. This is what I want. This is cute. But the S is cute too because that's my name. So this is you girl's keychain S. This is like a kid chain. But all right. And then I got this. I think that this is too cute. I don't know if I want the bow on it or not. Let me look. I don't know, but let's go put it in my office and see what it's giving. Cause that's where it's gonna go. That's where blue is located in my home. And every time I come in here, I be debating if I even want to move because this house is very homey. And I don't know how I'm gonna feel living high as hell in the air. It's not anything I've ever done before. What is giving? So I don't know, but we gonna see. That's actually pretty cute. I don't think I want this thank you on it. Maybe if it's just in the box. Let me see, let me look from a distance. So, this is what my office area looks like. I love it, it's so cute. I just never do anything with it, like, and that's crooked. But there's a blue, a bear right there, and a bear right there. That gold, I don't know, the gold is throwing me off a little bit. I feel like the gold needs to go with something, like these two together, or these two together or something but yeah i do like the little gold pieces i just think that that gold is too big i love those flowers though ava got those for me i have the blue ones in my room or where are they yeah they're in my room for my mom i haven't put those in a place either but that's the bear yeah let me take the ribbon off but yeah my office is too cute when i move i want a vanity so i'm gonna get a vanity just for you this is cute but i don't want to break it just in case i want to put it back later but yeah, y'all, I'm really debating, like, y'all let me know because I have probably about, like, a month or, like, two weeks before, like, my current apartment puts my apartment on the market because I have, like, the biggest unit in the whole apartment. It's not a three-bedroom, but it's the biggest, too. Like, my bedrooms are really big. This room is huge. And if I want a vanity, I could really put a vanity right there. But, yeah, this is huge. And I told myself, when I move, I'm getting rid of everything that I didn't use. Like, I'm obviously hoarding things. So that whole entire second closet is going to trash. This thing right here, trash. Like, why do we have it? I'm going to ask the movers to take it to the dumpster for me. There's a dumpster in the back. Somebody can come pick it up if they want, but it's broke. So, good luck with that. I've always wondered how people tied these bows. I feel like I could find it on YouTube if I need it, right? It don't even... Okay. I thought it was a connection. All right. This is what the bear looks like now. It's giving showroom floor. I don't like how it's... Turn. 
I need you to be turned the other way, babe. Let me turn it. And then when I move or if I finalize this house, I need to screw those in the wall. And I need to use my office for its purpose. Like, I be working on my couch, literally not using this beautiful office. Crazy. I used to use it when I first had it done, but I don't know what really changed. Okay. It's the fact that they put it on a stand without me even asking. But it's because they didn't think we was coming back, y'all. And I know so many people go there and don't come back. Like, there's no gloss on the side. You can tell she literally barely glossed it. But this one's too cute. Like, I love blue. Blue is my life. I don't know. Blue is a beautiful, beautiful color. Okay. Let me put this back now. I love that on my vlogs, I don't focus on aesthetics and shit, like, I mean, and stuff. I really keep it authentic over here, truthfully. Everything I show y'all, this is what I do on my real day-to-day -day life. I might add a little spice to it, like travels and stuff, because I really, really like to travel. Like, I want to travel so much more and experience so many different cultural things. I'm s I can't wait. Like, that's been tea since I was 18. But, yeah, okay. So that's it. This is what we got. Then I have this. I don't remember what I had this for, but it's giving princess. But that's that. Now let's head over to the black one. My last one. And I think I'm going to put it. Well, I know I'm going to put it in my living room. I just don't know where. I think I want to put it on my TV stand. Cause Okay, y'all. I'm about to throw away this rug because I spilled some taco stuff on it. And it just really needs to be thrown away. I was thinking throwing away or wash it, but... It doesn't stay white. How do y'all keep y'all rugs light? Like, I could very much wash this. You know what? I might just wash it. I'm gonna put it in the washer tonight. I definitely let that stain sit, though. How long ago? Probably a long as time let me show y'all bro because i just plan on throwing it away y'all think that's gonna come out i don't know i don't think that's gonna come out but when i moved or if i really furnished this house i just didn't know like what it is i wanted to do i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know, I don't know. so many blank spaces in my head literally something anyways that's that let me put this bear somewhere. I think it would look cute on my table, but it's not. I'm not gonna see the whole picture because it's messy as hell in here right now. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. So I'm gonna put it on my entertainment center. Another thing I really don't like about this apartment is how dark it is. But it really is not that big of a deal, like honestly speaking. It don't like irritate me. The only time it really irritates me is when I'm in the kitchen and I'm trying to cook during the day and I have to turn the light on. That's it. but my first apartment was the same too i've never had an apartment where the sun rose or set like it's always been on the side even now and i remember when i was moving out because i do content i was like i need an apartment that's bright and both of my apartments indeed were dark so and your apartment can even be dark and high rise but the one that i'd be moving into is very lit up um around like two two and after not the morning because i'm not that big of a morning person if it was lit during the morning by the time i woke up the sun's gonna be going down so i feel like the afternoon would be the best time for me to be in an apartment truthfully what i just say but the afternoon of the sun being the being the bright oh being the brightest okay hey look get off the bear that shit is way bigger than i thought what about without the now it needs something next to it. It needs another one, don't it? Am I tripping? And then on the counter, it would definitely be too big. Well, oh my, um, what's this thing called right here? Coffee table. Yeah, babe. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna leave that right there for now. So, got my bears up. Yeah, I don't really like that right there. But then if I had a side table. Oh, a side table is actually pretty, pretty cute. I'm about to look up pros and cons of living in high rise. Like, I remember my whole, like, childhood, I wanted to live in a, in a high rise. But once I moved into my first apartment, I was like, okay, this is cool. But then this apartment, I really, really, really like this apartment. It's big. It's spacious. I have a pole dead ass in the middle of the dining room that I don't get on at all. It's really just there at this point. But it's because I have a shoulder injury, and I really need to get um, surgery on it before I sit up here and try to do that so yeah and i know probably recovery probably gonna take like two months and all of that so i would not be on there probably to the end of 2024 truthfully but yeah that's pretty much it y'all it's really really i don't know i like this apartment i don't know i'm about to go outside of my balcony and like do something with my life or read i don't know um i will catch you guys a little bit later i'm about to clean up and do all those things and then i'm gonna get into planning my 50k and planning my outfits because the trip is 11 days away so i gotta get that together like now 
Good morning, guys. I am about to walk into my doctor's appointment, but I wanted to come on here and say, hey, my camera about to die, too. It's the next morning. Got the fit, old fit I had on already this week, but I'm about to go in here and see my new plan, what I need to do myself, what I need to eat, what I need to do, all that stuff, because your girl is needs to be healthy. So, mom, let me head in. I'm already 12 minutes late. Hey, guys. I think I want to get a new camera, because this one loads really slow. Like, when I turn it on, if I hit it on something, it cuts off and it deletes what I feel. Like... Mm -mm, too much work but i'm at home y'all and i'm making me some avocado toast and i was like really i've been in the kitchen for a long time i did the dishes i got them in here i was gonna use the dishwasher but that shit is so dirty i don't see how y'all can move somewhere and then use their dishwasher that somebody used before like when i move to the new apartment i'm the first person to be there so i'm gonna feel a lot more comfortable using that dishwasher just like how it was in my first apartment i used my dishwasher in my first apartment all the time because i didn't i didn't like washing dishes when i came here it was just something about using somebody else's filthy dishwasher and i don't know nothing about cleaning no dishwasher so when i looked in that today i was like that needs to be clean but i don't know how to do that so i'm not doing that i just went ahead and put my strawberries in here because it keeps your strawberries fresh express it especially if you bought some strawberries um from not the farmer's market like not fresh for real like real fruit from like a good farm then you're gonna have to really put them in an airtight container because they're gonna die but i'm about to eat these with my avocado because i just went to the doctor and so i went in she ran my results from i don't know maybe like two weeks ago now i got all my blood work done and stuff like that and i need to literally all my progesterone i think i told you guys this when i was really stressed out that time my progesterone was low but it's still low it only went up a little bit so we're about to start a plan well i've already been on this plan but continue a plan to get that up so i asked her like what foods should i eat because i've cut out a lot and i think i was telling you guys like i've cut out a lot but i haven't replaced i haven't added much so she was like leafy greens and i already knew that of course leafy greens nuts and seeds and stuff and i'm like you know what bet she's like 50 percent of your plate needs to be vegetables i already knew that that's a balanced meal vegetables 50 percent vegetables this whole half of your plate vegetables um one fourth 25% whatever protein so that's your meat and then the other 25 is your your um carb or your fat or whatever it is that you're going to choose to do and I already knew that too so I am going to eat fruit every single morning every breakfast and then with my lunches and my dinners we're obviously going to have um 50% veggies the reason I don't be having 50% veggies now is because when I I cook I steam my broccoli in the microwave. I do not sit up here and put it on the stove, which I could, but I don't. So when I put frozen fruit into my small containers, because I use glass, I don't use plastic, because it's better for you. Not enough room. So by the time it's done, it has shrink down. There's so much more room left in the container. I don't be wanting to do another batch, because it takes eight minutes in total to um, warm up one container. And I need to look into like stove, because if I could do it on the stove under 20 minutes, then I'm, I'd rather do that then put two bowls in the microwave for eight minutes each, 16 minutes when I can just make it all in one. You get what I'm saying? So I didn't look into that, but I have chicken in here. I gotta go to the farmer's market really, really soon. I need to go ahead and um, order some groceries. I need some more lemon pepper seasoning. I need some more relish. I need some more ranch. Um, I need some more buffalo sauce. All of this is healthy because I need to get back in my salads. I be I used to put cashews in my salad because it was like really, really good. And I'm also probably going to warm up my salad. Oh, but anyways, what I'm about to start doing with my doctor is acupuncture. Acupuncture once a week. I'm going to start it when I get back from my vacation. And it's basically like when they prick needles all throughout your skin. I know y'all seen it. Like people be having the needles in their face. That's what acupuncture is. But it's not that bad. Well, I haven't got a full session. But she pricked me today like in my arm. And it does not hurt. And getting my blood drawn doesn't hurt me. So I'm just like this can't be anything compared to that. She was like your feet and your hands probably are a little bit more sensitive. So you probably feel those a little bit more. But nothing crazy. And they just put the needles throughout your skin at certain pressure points to release energy. 
and uh, increase your blood flow and then it helps with like nervous system stress especially if you have anxiety things like that it will help a lot with that and um what else i'm mad hungry though because i haven't ate um i need to start going to sleep i be staying up for absolutely no reason so i'm going to sleep drinking tea every day so i just gotta get back in my routine it's the thing is consistency like she asked me what happened to my meal planning because i remember i used to plan my meals for the week and it just you can't, it comes too much when you try to bring in other life factors. Like if you're trying to have fun, then it's a little bit harder. Like it's just a lot with that. But here goes my breakfast lunch. It looks so healthy. Like this is what healthy people eat. But I'm healthy. So I'm about to sit on my couch, my favorite place, and eat this breakfast and then get to work. I have a few things to do. So yeah, that's the update on my doctor's appointment. So in about four months, where we at? We 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 March pretty much April, May, June, July. By July, I should be a lot better. I still want to limit my drinking and stuff like that because I do want to drink. I do, but not crazy like drunk. No, but like a little two two cups maybe every like little event I do. Then yeah, so we're working on all that. But I really gotta get this eating down pack. I need to make this a consistent habit for at least three months and taking my supplements every day but that's not that hard to do it's just cooking so I right, so I'm gonna take my quick leave out it is time honey um cuz I'm hungry I need to take a shower and I was like you know what I'm going to shower take my hair out and then I'm going to cook some sweet potato mash broccoli and chicken but I'm gonna cook the chicken as fast as I can I'm gonna do it in the air fryer I'm gonna try some air fried chicken breast today because I really just want minimal clean up i already cleaned the kitchen earlier and it took forever so yeah i take my quick weave out the way i take my quick weave out in the shower i didn't do my 50k thing today because i had too much back end stuff to do i got um the course ready to go up live well it's already live somebody already bought it y'all i didn't even promote it they bought it because they scrolled all the way down so pretty 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 nosy because how did you know this is my quick weave that i did i like this method I just like, yeah, I like this method. I don't like how I did the tracks though. So next time I do it, I'm gonna do it way different than I did this. I am going to keep these bundles. I always say I'm gonna keep these bundles and I end up letting them rot and get mold in like a bag. So this time I really am going to take these out and put them in the other bathroom to let them dry because I'm about to put hella conditioner in it. So I don't have to keep buying these bundles like over and over again. So obviously the longer they are, no when i redo it i'm gonna have to just start over and measure all all of them because y'all know how i put this in wrong if you watch me you know but this is my leave out and i'm just so nervous i know front of my hair is already damaged like right here i'm already sure this is already because it's so bone straight still like over here a little bit but really like right here but it's put up because i did a middle part um but yeah this is like one and a one and a half bundle two bundles max very thin felt that way the whole time i pretty much got used to it by now though but it's like no here in the bag my chest is out so let's just go ahead and get this started and also next time i'm gonna get remover but like why would i get remover when i'm gonna have to wash my hair anyway but then what if you, you might not want your bundles to be drenched wet so those are the pros and cons of that um just don't have to be put up put back but yeah y'all um after this, I'm about to get into my email marketing team and stuff like that because I do want to chat up in my emails. I want to come out with a campaign and have it on auto and all of that because I fired my team, y'all. I have no team. I have one person on my team right now. One. One and I came from like four. Cut them babies off because they were just not giving me results and I get myself the most results. The who I hi, who I hi, work with, she really helps me stay organized. That's um, her pro, and she checks my emails and she just really makes sure everything is running smoothly, everything that's going out for So, because she's a business manager, so that's what I have um, on my team. But I do need to hire a bookkeeper. I plan on hiring a book soon because I already canceled like my email. Stuff. like this is life of a business owner i'm gonna be getting my hair starting again in may so we have about three more months left i just got it starting in january february it's been one month it's about to be two months now and i wanted to go every four months so i was gonna go three times a year to get my hair straight in it is september october i think january february march april may june july august september 
October, November, December, January. Wait, that's the time of year. January, February, March, April. Oh, um, that's the time of year. So January, May, and September. I think I'm gonna move it to October, November, December, January, February. October, February, but June is like the peak of summer. I know that's not gonna last at all in, in June. Or what if I do April, May, June, July, August? You know what? <laughs> I don't know. But I do need to redo my hair. As y'all can see, it's kind of lighter. It's like a light gray. It looks gray. It's not giving brown though, how I usually give. So I definitely need to redo it darker. It's not too off with the butt with this, but it's pretty yes it is. This is black. This is gray. This is black. This is gray. And I don't understand how my hair could be gray. All right. Let me get all these out of here. I have clothes all over. I have this robe. I love this robe. It's so cute. But Target, and then I'm going to take it off. What if I break it? I think I could break this. It's going to alarm. I don't know. I might even have to stick with it because I don't know how to get that off. All right. Let's hop in the shower. I could watch a YouTube video or something on my phone. I have not watched YouTube in so long. All right. Adios, amigas. Amigas, amigos. Yeah. Yeah, this is my hair. So, yeah, I already knew this piece. I just know my hair this been straight so you know we're pretty good <laughs> we're pretty good ew hell we're pretty good i'm out the shower now um i'm about to cook because your girl is very hungry i'm cold i took a whole entire shower with my um to call with my um dr bronner's and i'm cold because it made me so icy but let me put my ring on no i'm about to cook my tooth um Clean this chicken. Okay. Gotta clean this chicken off. So, one step closer. That's too big. One step closer to eating good food. I could really use this bowl. I'm not about to sit here and show y'all because I'm really hungry. So, I'll show y'all after. Hey, y'all. So, I just braided my hair up. I didn't show y'all. That took kind of a long time. But, woo! Horrific. <laughs> I need to find an outfit to wear uh, for the sh for the little shoot that I'm doing or whatever. And the outfit that I had in my head, I'm sorry, I look crazy. I'm not doing my hair, but I was going to wear this. But now that I'm seeing it, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I might just keep it simple and wear this black thing. Or this brown dress would be so cute. It would go with my own vibe. But it's cold outside and I don't have like anything cute to put on my arms. So then I'm thinking this. Mm. I'm about to pick my outfit out so that I can get everything going. I'm about to go to Party City once I'm done because I got to get my balloons and everything like that. So then I'm going to do my hair. So I'm going to show you guys me doing my hair and doing my lashes. these lashes the reason is because i be putting the glue on my skin i be putting it like underneath like waterline whatever but no i need to put it on my lashes because over here i put it on my lashes like these first sides right here that i did skin so these not gonna last that long probably like four days or something three two really because it's gonna start really itching real bad so i'm gonna try not to scratch it but yeah um i want to come on here and talk it is 136 i am running behind i'm going to have to hurry up and go to party city hopefully it's not busy friday people probably celebrating their birthdays and all of that stuff so i gotta get this out of the way gotta get this done i hope it's not no set i think it's the celebration I think Columbus Day on Monday, y'all. I don't know, but y'all remember my old apartment? Comment down below, I remember, if you remember the story. And it's crazy because somebody had commented on one of my videos or something and was like, this the bitch that used to be banging on my grandparents' apartment or she used to live under my grandparents. I was never, ever purposely messing with the people below me. Hazel was a baby, so she would be running around like all the time. And then me, I used to go out around that time like, with Unique and stuff. And so we would be getting ready to leave. We would have, I used to do content days, not really going out, but we used to do content days 
a lot. I would have heels on walking around to leave or we would be getting back inside like around 11 or something and we walking in, all you hear is doom, 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 doom. I mean, damn, you're living in an apartment, shared living with people above you. If you didn't want to hear no noise above you, you should have went on the third floor, but they didn't go on the third floor because they owed. Like, what? And they will always tell the property manager, both of the property managers, we had two different ones. One and then she left and then another one came. They both was like, like, what do they expect? They're living in an apartment, so they will always get denied or shut down with trying to like put allegations or say stuff, all that extra stuff. But um, I need to get my concealer. Uh, hold on. All right, I'm back. This is my concealer that I use. You can get it from the, the drugstore, any store, really. So we are celebrating 50K. Really like just to get some more videos, and I do want to celebrate because that's actually crazy to me um but yeah that was what happened used to happen to me in my old apartment and y'all i'm still debating if i want to leave like i think i was talking to you guys about this yesterday i don't know what my reasoning is on leaving or staying okay let's talk about this current apartment this current apartment i really like it i do not use the amenities and it's a high price if you ask me not that no it's hot it's not that high for like Atlanta. I don't really know what high is anymore at this point because everything I see, everybody living in it, so it can't be that freaking high. But um, yeah, I don't use any of the amenities. I don't use the gym and I do want to go to the gym again one day so I don't want to do bar class, but I do have a bar class um membership that's not far from here. Both of the apartments are literally like seven minutes apart. That's with no traffic, with traffic probably 10, 10, 12 minutes apart. So that's the difference in the distance. Over here, I'm not in the city. Like I'm not in the buildings. So it's not, like the exit to leave my apartment is not ever really that packed. It is packed like right up the street like two seconds down the road. But when I leave out my apartment, it's not like a hassle or anything like that. But I don't know how it would be there in the city because I've never lived in the city, obviously. Oh my gosh. These people are buying this course. I haven't even launched it yet. That means that they just scrolled on my page and found it. I'm so excited for tomorrow. My launch is going to be good, 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 good. Anyway, um, so that's the pros about this apartment. You can hear everything in the hallway here too. I don't know about the other apartment, but the other apartment is only 20% occupied. It's a new high rise. It has so many amenities that I could use every single day, every single weekend, have fun every single weekend. And the apartment has something to look forward to, have people coming in, they got a game room, they have um, rock climbing wall, they have so much things that you could do. And I just feel like living there would be a really cool experience. Now the con is, it is, the um, rent is $900 extra than here. And that's with me splitting it across my week, like my two months free across my week. Baby, if I had two months free, I would not be up in that apartment, okay? I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. It's very, very expensive. Let me um, look at my email because I did ask her if the unit that I viewed is the exact one. But I still want to go looking with you guys probably soon because probably all in March because I need to um, give y'all a series. Man, I should read it for her. She didn't reply to me yet. Yeah, another con is if I leave here, so I'm already approved at the second apartment, y'all, right? But I can back out. I would have to have my decision like within the next week, probably before they list, before this current apartment lists my apartment on like they website. And if somebody leases it, it's out and it's very popular. Yeah, this is the biggest two bedroom here. So I don't know, y'all. The only my, my cons of leaving would be would be moving for one. I have to pack up shop, bro, and go somewhere else. That's the first con. Then the second con is my visitors have to pay for parking by the hour, I think, which is absurd. That's crazy, but apparently that's normal in Atlanta with um, high rises and stuff. So I won't have too many people <laughs> stay with me, but people don't stay with me anyways. So, and then they're trying to get 50% off for them. So it's just like, how much actually is it? But yeah, I don't get too many visitors anyway, but I feel like a way they could, there, can, there has to be a way they could do free parking. There's just no way, but that's the only way. Um, my next apartment, I will use the amenities a lot more. Um, like the gym's great, all that. Even my first apartment, I used the gym, like, because I wanted to work out. And they had a nice gym, so why would I not go in there? And then I could cancel all my memberships. Um, I might keep um, Planet Fitness though, because that's the one I like to go to. Yeah, y'all. And then another pro, it'll be a whole new moving series. Content. 
fun and then I'm just getting the high rise experience that I wanted to get that I don't want to get older and regret because I used to want a high rise when I was younger but then when I moved into my first apartment the stairs was a hassle then I moved here now I have a parking garage but now I have a dog if I did not have a dog I would have been with a high rise but I remember when I was looking for this home here I was trying to find a place where walking the dog was convenient and not like too much work like here it is a lot of work but it's not as bad as it would have been at a high rise because on a high rise you're super high up and there's no grass around it so now you have to walk and find grass but at this new one they have a whole puppy relief station on the 28th floor or something like that it's really high it's high as hell up so I feel like that would be cool. I would get a view literally every time I walk her. And then she would too. Because my dog likes to look out. The next apartment, the lighting would be good here. The sun never shines directly in my apartment because of where it's set up at. But if I move, the next one, the sun would directly shine into my unit around like two and after. And I think that that's a pro as well. So we have our pros and cons. I don't know where my lip pencil is. It's ghetto. I've never done this. I might write out a pros and cons to this. I'm gonna do that and then really compare and put that in my notes so I don't forget. All right, y'all, I'm about to go. I need to leave. Okay, y'all, got my makeup done. I don't have no setting spray, so I can't sit here and set it. That's unfortunate. I need to go to Sephora too anyway. Or I just need to go get new um, makeup. And I need to um, clean my brushes off. Let's see what this wig looking like. I curled it on my mannequin. I like that way better than doing it on my head. So every time I put a wig on, I'm gonna just style it first did put it all it's just easier Ooh, wait a minute it's looking a little bit a bit a bit crazy we need this fluffy i'm not the recro boom 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 then let me curl this okay i might do my edges then we're gonna be finished with this i'm gonna try to do something with this part because why is it so dark hey guys so i'm in the car everything's all done i feel pretty my lace just is not doing it for me like it's up and everything i don't know why i didn't lay down this time but it is what it is this is just for a video <sighs> i'm about to head over to party city i made me a smoothie because i ate two hours ago party city is not close to me at all but you didn't shoot out so when i was walking hazel y'all the wind the wind outside is crazy like i'm supposed to have balloons the balloons are going to fly all over the place and it's not gonna look cute how i want it to so i'm thinking what if i let me put let me drive up to the top of my deck because i was gonna do it at the top of my deck anyway but there's a part that's not like that's not outside but it's like you know like going up to go outside if you've been in a parking garage before the top of one okay i'm driving up and i see a cute spot that i could do right here that's actually pretty cute right there okay so here is a spot but then outside is right here let me put my window down like the first well obviously it's windy because my hand out but the further i wanted to do it up here this is definitely cute this is where i took pictures before the wind is coming this way it's very windy out here i ain't gonna be able to do it outside it's gonna have to be up in here somewhere this is still cute though so yeah we're gonna do it somewhere in this garage i don't know exactly where but let's go ahead and go to party city now <sighs> child let me look right here i thought about right here this is dark so i'm probably gonna do it up there not outside but not inside either all right let's go let's go bye y'all yeah we made it to party city i'm trying to see like how i want this set up like i know i want like browns because my brand colors are browns and then i want gold 50k but the browns though i think i want three so no two browns and a white two browns and a white and then why would they park by me it's not even fucking handicapped anyways two browns and a white is the colors all right let's go in look at my keychain look what you did oh i'm gonna eat some brown because that protein oh breast my light oh peanut butter and chocolate and milk mm -hmm. ew it's a terrible combo all right Okay, so I'm about to get some. No, this ain't what I want. I'm on the blue with it. This how you get over there? Did I get over here? No, this is small. No, okay, I'm gonna go back over there. Here they go. <laughs> Five zero. Okay, it's a K. A K is really small. So, let me ask for like the big dumb letters. Alright, y'all, I just did that, but let me check my list. So, dozen balloons, 50K with the little things take to stick them together and i have champagne at my house 
So we're pretty much almost set. So I'm gonna head over to like Walmart because I need to get some lemon pepper seasoning. Anyway, it's from Walmart. I like they see their lemon pepper seasoning more than anybody else. So that's what I'm about to get into. All right, y'all. I got them. <gasps> now let's head home. So as far as my outfit, I don't know. Like. I don't know, but it is what it is. So, let's go ahead and head on back to the Kripsky. I'm so happy. This is pretty simple. This didn't take, like, too much out of me. But now we're about to go and record it. So, let's see how it is. Let's go. Um, so now, gun is old already. Need to, I gotta get my champagne bottle. And then figure out the location for real, for real. I need to go to Walmart or somewhere where they got that, that sticky tape. Sticky dots. I'm gonna call it sticky dots. Sticky dots. Why do Target? Michaels. Let me see. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Oh shit. Oh lord. Why am I? Oh, I'm gonna hit the lady. I almost hit the damn lady. Ow. 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 Fun fact my auntie hit a man on a bike that same way. Like when you driving and you yielding and you looking this way, turning, you, she hit the guy. Part of me feel like that's the guy pose. That's the guy pose. Cause like, why are you not? But then I think they should say, say walk. So the GPS isn't working. Y'all, I need to fix this. Look at this. Like, ugh, please. But I have to put some glue on my hair. And I don't know, do I like my hair? Cause I'm trying to be a baddie when I pop my bottle. I'm in here because of the glue. Um, so let me do that real quick. I got some bubble honey. I got my rain chest. I don't even remember what I called this. I don't remember what I called it. It was something. Okay, so it's my boho. Sticker, sticker. I don't want a lot though. Cause I want this wig to come off very, very, very easily. I'm gonna go do this and I'm gonna come back and walk my doggy. She definitely um, wants to go outside. It's literally so dark right there. Like, I don't really know why. It makes me wanna just cut it off, but I've already um put it down. So it is what it is now. All right, so now we got that down. And I'm trying to think like, do I want it recurled in the front? Or am I okay with how it looks like this? It's not ugly. Okay. I'm gonna just leave it and I'm gonna get the bathroom when I get back. I'm gonna just go ahead and get this out of the way. So, I'm gonna get my bottle. Shoes, I was gonna wear like some heels or something, but I don't have time for that. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just wear these shoes. Cause this is just me as a person. I wear stuff like this with my bottle. Let me make sure it's ready to go. Cause popping a bottle, pretty hard, but I'm about to get better at it. Cause I'm gonna pop bottles a lot. Even though I ain't really trying to drink for real. Y'all, how do I get this? Don't I twist it? I gotta look that up on you. TikTok. What if you could say TikTok? How do you do that? Okay, I got it now. So I'm debating if I want to bring my light just in case I want to do it in front of like the city view that's um at my apartment. I don't know. I'm gonna take it just in case because I don't really know. So let's go ahead and pack up shop and I'll see you guys at the location. I'm literally nervous, but let's go get. Let's go ahead. I gotta. <sighs> Why am I still here? Like, I should have done it by now, but it's just old me. I'm gonna do it after he goes. So I'm I'm done now. I want to leave. I'm the third American. 